Hey guys, Sasha for thatbooknews.com with the new Samsung Chromebook Series 5. And my friend Taylor from that shelter over here in San Francisco just gave me his version that he got during the Google I.O. conference. And finally I can do my unboxing of the first Chromebook from South Korea. So, uh, I mean, you know how it works. Let's just get rid of this box here. Thank God it's not mine so I can actually rip it apart. Oh. Jeez, that's what I did. Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> it happened. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. Over here we have the Chromebook. And here we have a little adapter cable. Uh, mini VGA to VGA. There's your PSU. And I guess that's about it. Maybe some manuals. Here we go. Safety instruction for what? That you shouldn't throw a 3.3 pound Chromebook to anyone's head or whatever? I, I don't know. Okay, let's get rid of all this package material and let's take a look at the device. 12.1 inch. It's a non glossy screen, 1280 by 800 is the resolution. As I told you already, 3.3 pounds and uh, battery life of eight and a half hours. It's based on the Intel Atom N570, that's a dual core with hyper threading uh, and it's clocked at 1.65 or 66 gigahertz. 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 16 gigabyte SSD and that's about it and it's running Chrome. So Google's cloud OS, you know, however you want to define the cloud in these days. So uh, what I like about this is it's this plain white lid, just small little logos like the Chrome logo over here. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you can't exchange the battery. And I can tell you what, after, after using any platform for about a year or one and a half years, I'm just destroying each and every battery. So that's a huge disadvantage in my opinion. Let's take a quick look around the system. Over here we have a connector for your PSU, uh, for your headset. Uh, there's a USB 2.0, a mini VGA connector here, there's a 4-in-1 card reader and on the right side we have another USB 2.0 and over here we have the slot for the SIM card. So this comes with a free two years contract on Verizon and you're getting 100 MBs of traffic. That means uh, you can watch the Rebecca Black Friday video on YouTube for about five times on 720p. Amazing. Anyways, uh, talking about useless information, let's take a quick look at the keyboard. Nice chiclet keyboard, but can you see how it's bending? I'm just pressing over here right in the middle. Besides that, the keyboard is nice. Great physical uh, feedback that you're getting from it, but in general I think the build quality is a little bit... everything is bending. I can press it down almost to the motherboard. Well, even though the motherboard should be over there. A huge trackpad. Pretty sure it's a multi-touch trackpad uh, with integrated mouse buttons. Uh, there's a 1.3 megapixel camera. 1280 by 800 is the resolution. Cool glossy screen and a uh, very thin bezel. That's what I really like. Let's see if I can... There you go. I can see it a little bit better. And yeah, these are pretty much all the specs on the first impression. I think it feels kind of heavy, especially when I compare this, for example, I have my Sony Vios at 12 here, which is of course kind of eight times more expensive, but still, uh, this is 1.6 kilograms or, or, or 3.4 pounds. This is 3.3 pounds, but somehow this feels heavier. Anyways, uh, the problem is it wasn't recharged even though that I tried to hit the power button, right? Yeah. We're gonna stay with a very simple unboxing and first impressions of the new Samsung Series 5 Chromebook. But you can be sure I'll be back with a detailed review of Chrome OS on this little device. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.